Manhattan is a borough made up of diverse communities. Communities with different wants and different needs. And that's why it's up to you, the voter, to make that important educated decision about who will represent your district. Listen to the views from prospective candidates and incumbents and decide who gets your vote for the race to represent. Your source for multimedia coverage of Manhattan elections. Presented by Manhattan Neighborhood Network. Go to www.mnn.org. Hello, I'm Tiana Leonard, and I'm a member of the New York City League of Women Voters. The Manhattan Neighborhood Network and the League are sponsoring a series of debates between the candidates for city council. Today, we were going to have a debate between the candidates for District 2, but Rosie Mendez, the incumbent, was unable to attend. So I'm going to have a conversation with Miles Woody, the candidate who's running on the Green Party line. Welcome. Thank you. Let's start with the first question. All right. Everybody wants more affordable housing. What do you see as the major obstacles that are preventing the, the creation of enough affordable housing in New York City? Well, uh, I'd first like to thank uh, Manhattan Neighborhood Network and uh, League of Women Voters for having me here today. Uh, I, I think um, we can make housing affordable in uh, Manhattan and in outer boroughs. Um, I would start by uh, uh, introducing a um, fair tax uh, that would um, that that we would apply to Wall Street. Um, this will create significant revenue, and within that, um, w with within our public revenue, we. we uh, we would be able to give $30 billion to NYCHA uh, to build um, 1 million new green building um, apartments, uh, employing 100,000 New Yorkers. Um, uh, the cost of rent would be 25% of uh, the tenant's income. It would be open to everyone. We could end homelessness and make housing affordable for all by doing this. Do you have ideas about where this housing could be constructed? Uh, we can, uh, uh, the Avenue D projects certainly need to uh, be rebuilt, I think. Um, they're in a state of ruin right now, and it's really unfortunate that there are so many people living there. Um, um, in outer boroughs, the, the Bronx, uh, towards um, so, so you, you feel that the land is is available in the outer boroughs to yes, create absolutely. these these buildings? Yes. Um, it's also available within Manhattan, but there is more land in outer boroughs, obviously. How do you plan to improve mm -hmm. NYCHA's record on repairs? Uh, well, uh, w one of their biggest uh, problems is lack of funding, and we will give them funding. So the, the billions that you would give NYCHA, they could use some of this to, to repair the, the housing and to get rid of their, their backlog? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, it's so you see the major obstacle is money? Yes. Um, it's unfortunate there is such a long waiting list for NYCHA apartments. Yes, it's a, yeah. it's a very long waiting and, uh, list. and, and uh, it's, it's We can end that. Uh, Currently, the law allows the city's wastewater treatment plants to accept waste from hydrofracking operations elsewhere. Do you support legislation giving New York City protection from hazardous waste? Oh, absolutely. I, I think New York should be a green example. I think we could be. Um, hydrofracking is a terrible practice that uh, should not should not happen. So you would you would um, prevent it? Oh, absolutely. I, do what all is I can to ban what's it. your position on the proposed reopening of the East 91st Street Waste Transfer Station? I'm opposed to that. Where where would you propose to place a station of that nature? Um, most probably in an outer borough, in a less uh, densely populated area where there are fewer people. 
So you you look for a place where nobody would be complaining about it exactly. being in their in their backyard. Right. If you are elected to represent Council District Two, what would be your first order of business? Uh, to a, um, apply a sales tax to Wall Street. Currently, they do not pay a tax on um, on on uh, credit default swaps, uh, bundled mortgages, student loans, um, uh, reversed mortgages, anything, um, er everything with the exception of uh, with the exception of stocks. They don't pay a payroll tax. They have this uh, capital gains tax they hide behind. And I would just apply these pre-existing tax, just say income is income, and this will create uh, five trillion, uh, roughly five trillion, in public revenue every year. So is is that within the the purview of the city council to to I create can, a tax on Wall Street? I can um, I can apply uh, pre-existing taxes. Cannot create taxes. So um, um, do you think you could get a coalition in the in the city council that would be be um, in favor of, of this tax? Um, possibly there are some uh, progressive uh, council members. Um, Lynn Serp, who is running in Queens, stands a shot of winning this coming mm -hmm. uh, year. Hopefully she would back that. I don't know if she would or not. But um, So, so, um, so there are some green, hopefully there will be some greens if I'm elected who will stand behind this, this bill. Do you support continuing mayoral control of the schools? Uh, absolutely not. I want to restore the school boards to what they used to be. I don't think any mayor, regardless of how um, well-meaning they are with the schools, are, are capable of, of having absolute control effectively. Um, public schools today are a, a disgrace, and I think we need we need we need a we need a board of education that has more control. Do you, do you feel that the the when the old structure was in place, do you feel that the schools were better? That actually mayoral control has led to to a, a um, decline in the public schools, or it simply hasn't made them better? It simply hasn't made them better. I, I think uh, what I, I think they, the public schools would become better with more funding, uh, with more teachers, smaller classroom sizes. Um, so many students uh, graduate unprepared for uh, college or work. And, and you think that, that having the, the Board of Education in charge would, would um, lead to an improvement in those? Yeah, I would say. Uh, that, that alone will, may, may not fix everything, but that's definitely something I would support. I don't think it's, I don't think the mayor is qualified to have absolute control of public schools. Well, he, he picks the people that he feels should right. be in, but in I think, control. I think they should be elected officials, possible. Do you approve of putting charter schools in the same building as traditional public schools? Uh, no, one, one school under one roof. So you, you would, you would see roof. that they, they um, had their own, own buildings. How yep. do you feel about charter schools in general? Uh, Charter schools have problems. Traditional schools have problems. Um, I think all workers have the right to uh, bargain collectively and unionize, and the same should apply to teachers at charter schools. Mm. So that that, um, that that they should be brought under the same general general framework as the as the public schools, yeah. and not not allowed so much leeway. Yeah, I mean, I I uh, think. Uh, Firing workers who try to unionize should be a Class E felony. That's something I'm pushing for. So it's not even like the model for public schools. Like this is the model I have for labor in general. Mm -hmm. so. There may be a change in the stop and frisk policy. What mm -hmm. else would you do to make our streets and neighborhoods safer? Well, I would certainly end stop and frisk, uh, restoring the Fourth Amendment. Um, uh, I would. Um, I would expand the um, auxiliary uh, police force, uh, giving auxiliary cops a small stipend as well. Uh, I think that would go a long way. Um, I, you know, there's, there's, uh, I, I would do away with a lot of the motives to commit crimes. I mean, having affordable housing would prevent a lot of crime. Um, 
having readily accessible uh, health care, whether that be uh, psychiatric or physiological, is, uh, would, would go uh, pretty far in now, ending is crime. Is that something that you as a city council, what could, could you do about, about health care? I could, I mean, it, it, I would try to create a uh, local equivalent of Medicaid uh, and have open enrollment for it that's not... So you'd have a city, yeah, a, I'd have a, a city Medicaid. Yeah, have free clinics. Um, and and um, all of this would be would be funded through these these increased taxes on yeah. on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. These taxes that are equivalent to what you and I pay. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Why not? Why not? Um, well, I, I read a read in the paper this morning that that um, the one percent in New York City pay forty percent, forty three percent of the taxes. So they all are they already are funding a great deal of, of no, city government. Certainly. But but uh, you think it should be? I think be, it should be the same rate. Mm -hmm. With with the federal government shut down and, and fewer federal funds in general, how can, how can we repair our aging infrastructure, particularly our bridges and tunnels? Safe access to Manhattan Island is necessary for the city's survival. Mm -hmm. um, on a local level, um, hopefully once we have these uh, pre-existing, um, once we apply these pre-existing taxes, we will have the funds to maintain our bridges to, to the top grade of bridge maintenance, I mean. So you, so you wouldn't see trying to get a special fund earmarked for, for infrastructure? That I just could do the, that too, as a council member, yeah. Do you support the zoning change to increase the size, height, and bulk of the buildings in Midtown? Hmm, not really. You think that there's already an, enough yeah. office space and there's and plenty they don't of office need space to, in Midtown, to, yeah. to increase it. Mm -hmm. um, the city conducted an expensive runoff campaign for public advocate. Mm -hmm. Do you support instant runoff voting? Uh, yeah, I support I support democracy. Well, <laughs> instant runoff is where you put you put your preference on the ballot one, two, three, four, and then you don't have to have a second. A mm -hmm. second election. Would would you feel that that would be a good way to save money, or, or do you feel that the runoff is important? Uh, I think the runoff is important. I think. So you you you, do, you, 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 you don't support instant runoff no. voting. You you think that the city should continue to have have runoff yeah, elections. I do. The City Council distributes $50 million in discretionary and member item funding for the 51 districts. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do you think this funding should be allocated? Uh, I think it should go to the schools. Uh, how, wait, wait, how should the decisions be made when city members get, get this discretionary funding? How, how should the decision be made how much each, each council district gets? Well, I, I think uh, we should uh, do away with pork. Do away with pork. <laughs> um, uh, not have a... Uh, not have the speaker decide how this money. You feel that that, that um, a pr the procedures should be changed yeah. so that there's yeah. less discretionary power in the yes. speaker to Absolutely. allocate funds. I don't think it. I don't think it should be up to her. Um, yeah. um, council members recommend half the members of the community boards in their district. What would be your criteria for those appointments? I think they should all be elected officials. The, the entire the community entire board, community should, be, board should, should be nothing on the should be up to the discretion of the um, of the council member. Yeah, it should be up to the people living in each district to vote on that. Um, similar to the town board in LA and other cities. Um, Hurricane Sandy oh. caused devastation sure to did. the um, the the sea level communities. Um, the current mayor has called for a variety of new safeguards and barriers mm -hmm. for the harbor. Do you support these proposals? 
How would you finance them? I guess we, we've heard about your we've financing. We've heard about my financing right. plan, absolutely. So do, do you approve of the increased wet, wetlands and trying to reduce the, the housing that's on the, the seas? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, sea levels are rising. That's not mm -hmm. a secret. Um, hurricanes are bound to hit again, and it's completely stubborn to uh, build. So, in, so in, people in should not be allowed to rebuild the, the houses that they they have there. Uh, yeah. No, that's tr in some places, yeah. Uh, so, what are the issues you feel most passionate about? Uh, Fair taxes, I think that's number one, a uh, housing and uh, uh, environment and the environment in general. Well, that's a that's a that that's a given. I'm a Green Party candidate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so um, fair taxes, housing, and the environment. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit more about besides the the idea of just just building green green buildings mm -hmm. but about um, any t when housing goes up do mm -hmm. you believe that there should be a mix of, of the mandatory inclusionary housing so that whenever people put up buildings they will have to include um, lo low income housing in, in those buildings yeah like that. I don't think it's going to be an issue once we can actually build these green buildings I was talking about earlier but uh, because there'll be enough housing mm, for okay. all low-income people right. seeking okay. public housing. Um, so, so we've come to to um, the the end of our interview, and I'd like you to make a closing statement. All right. Um, on November fifth, uh, vote for me, Miles Beauty, uh, for a clean environment, social justice, and a good economy for all. Together, we can make that happen. And we can only end the tyranny of corporate party rule by electing candidates who serve no corporate interest. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank Mr. Moody for participating in today's program. For more information about voting, the candidates, your poll site, and the six ballot issues, contact the League of Women Voters of New York City at the League of Women Voters of New York City org or vote411.org, or you can call 212-725-3541. Election day is Tuesday, November 5th. The polls are open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Remember to vote.